All right, YouTube family. So I'm, I'm reading here. There's gonna be a, 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 a rematch of Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor. Well, it's gonna go the same way. Nate Diaz is gonna win it. I'm calling it right now. I can tell you, Nate Diaz is gonna beat Conor McGregor. Like he, he's done. Conor McGregor has no grown game. Okay, and that's the whole deal. Does not have a good grown game. So if there's a rematch. Nate Diaz is going to take it hands down. Connor should go down to defend the title. That's what's going to happen. They can't keep stalling out Frankie Edgar. Frankie Edgar is, is being stalled out. Jose Aldo is being stalled out. The featherweight division, I, I said this in one of the videos I did before, that you can't have a champ in two division because it ties up the cable rotation and it prevents other fighters the opportunity from fighting and earning a living. This is why I said it. I, I said it. It's a bad decision by the UFC to make Conor McGregor hold up the, the, the division like that. There's guys in, in that division that want to fight. They can't fight. No. I mean, right at this point, it should be Aldo and Frankie Edgar for the interim title. And then when Conor decides to get himself together, they can fight and, and then win a unified the, the belts or whatever. But he can't be in both divisions tying up stuff like that. Frankie Edgar put the working. He deserves a title shot. And now he's just waiting around and, and, and Conor McGregor. Nah, that doesn't make any sense. That, that's not fair. And I can tell you straight up, Nate Diaz is, 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 is hands down. Nate Diaz is going to beat Conor McGregor coming and going. Um, he's, he's a better boxer. He's also a southpaw. And he has a very strong chin. You're not going to knock him out. It's impossible. So, I mean, and the next thing is that you're not going to be able to get in Nate Diaz's head. He's already messed up. So, I mean, what, what, what more can you tell him? What more can you say to a guy like that? You, know, you can say to a guy like that. You can call him poor. You can call him trash. Whatever. You can say to a guy like that. That's going to make him say, oh, nothing. So, I'm calling this fight for Nate Diaz. And I'm saying, same thing I said before, bad idea to have Connor holding the belt in two divisions. That just ties up the, the rotation. Frankie Edgar needs his opportunity to fight for a title shot. Other people need to be able to fight and make a living. Don't hold two divisions up. This is why, you know, Dana White is just, he's just short sighted. Not that he can pick fights that are good, that bring money in. But he's very short-sighted. Can't see a long-term strategic outlook. And he's not the guy to oversee UFC as an international organization. I keep saying that all the while. He's a good fight picker. He'll pick what sells. But just long-term vision in terms of cable rotation, strategic move, pay-per-view buys, how to intra, you know, get this thing mainstream, how to get the fans excited. He's not thinking about that. Just the quick money. Just the quick money. That's my two cents, guys. Because what happened in, in UFC 200 if Conor McGregor get banged up and then suspended? What's going to happen then? That's my two cents. I'm done.